G'day scientists, today I'm reviewing two kits that aim to teach you all about magnets. Okay, first up, the 4M Kids Labs Magnet Science Kit. It cost me $22.88 from Amazon. Let's open it up and see what's inside. We've got a big cardboard box here and some plain printed leaflets. Okay, the instruction manual is pretty basic. It looks like it's made of very simple black and white illustrations and it's just not very appealing. Let's check out this cardboard box. Inside is a plastic bag full of black and red parts, mostly plastic and really doesn't look like it's $23 worth of parts to me. In this bag are the magnets. They're not the strongest magnets I've used, but it's still quite satisfying to play with. In this little bag are some of the smaller parts. Let's take a closer look at the instruction manual. Yep, my first assessment was correct. It's incredibly boring, but there are a fair few experiments in here. I'm going to make the table UFO. First, I take the string and then two of the disc magnets and one of the block magnets. Magnets are great fun to play with, even without the kit. Okay, for this experiment, I stick one of the disc magnets to the block magnet and place a little plastic thing in the center of the disc to attach the string to. Then I take the curvy plastic parts and assemble them into a handle type shape and add in the block magnet to make it a bit like a fishing rod. Then I attach string to both disc magnets and we can use the block magnet handle I made earlier to levitate the disc magnet into the air. Hmm, it's a bit basic and I guess teaches you a bit about magnetism, but I would expect to be entertained for a little bit longer. The manual is so boring, I almost can't be bothered to read it, but I have, and it doesn't really teach you about the underlying science here. Next experiment is the mysterious dangler, a very technical term. We're taking the disc and string that I used in the previous experiment and attaching it to this fishing rod. Then I'm hovering the disc and rod above a block magnet and watch it repel and attract and generally act all mysterious. It's better if I use two blocks like this. This experiment is a bit more exciting than the last, but really not that exciting that it would last more than a few minutes with a young scientist. This kit was not good. At $23, I would expect a bit more than a few pieces of plastic and some cheap magnets and a very basic instruction leaflet. The activities were too fast and are just not going to keep you entertained for long. And some of the pieces are very small, so it's not good for the youngest of scientists. Worst of all, it doesn't really teach you anything about magnetism other than what you can observe. I'm gonna give the 4M Kids Labs Magnet Science Kit one star for fun, one star for price, and one star for learning. Bye, or bye-bye. It's a bye-bye. Awfully boring kit, just not worth the money. Right, next up I have the Galt Magnetic Lab. It cost me $30 from Amazon. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, we've got a plastic tray full of things, some magnets, activity books, some iron filings in a tray, a plastic car, some magnetic paddles, and even more disc magnets. In this plastic bag, we've got some stickers, a notebook, some goldfish pushouts, a racetrack, and the activity book. The book is pretty nice looking and also has information about magnets too. Let's pick something out and try it. Let's pick something and try it out. Okay, we're gonna play filing faces. For this activity, we're going to take one of the face stickers and apply it to the iron filings inside a plastic tray. Then we can use the magnet to drag the filings around the tray and make them look like a beard. Um, this is okay, I guess, but it's not really going to keep me entertained for too long. The sticker peels off the back easily and you can stick it back onto the pad for later use, but I don't think it's going to last that long, to be honest. Okay, staying with the tray, I'm going to use the magnet to move the filings around and make them stand a little on end. Again, a little bit interesting, but not hours of fun. Right, next up, Techie's levitating trick. For this, I'm using the plastic stick that was provided in the kit and adding the disc magnets in an alternating pattern. This experiment very neatly shows the attraction and repulsion properties of magnets. It's quite cool, but becomes a little bit more exciting in the next part of the experiment when we add the cardboard press out pieces to turn these levitating magnets into a levitating fishbowl. Basically, I'm pushing out the cardboard pieces here and then putting them in position to hide the magnets. While you're watching me assemble this, hit the like button if you found this useful, then subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you know when I'm next reviewing a science toy. 
The result is a goldfish bowl that appears to levitate over the table. It's quite cool. If it was on a grander scale and was less flimsy, I think it would be quite exciting even. Okay, overall this kit was better than the first one, but at $30 I just don't think it had the playtime that you would expect from that investment. A lot of the money seemed to have been on plastic pieces that you only use a few times. The manual was colourful and had some good educational content in it, but is this enough for me to recommend it? I'm going to give the Galt Magnetic Lab 1 star for fun, 1 star for price and 2 stars for learning. Bye or bye bye? It's a bye bye, too much plastic, not enough fun and playtime, so I just can't recommend this kit. I'm so sorry these magnetic kits were awful. If you want a physics kit that is worth the money, I really think you should check out this bridge building review.